Good morning, everybody. Wednesday was National Signing Day across the country, and new Illini head coach Tim Beckman and his coaching staff finalized their first recruiting class at Illinois. It includes 14 skill position players, four linemen, and a kicker. Beckman's entire coaching staff and several players were at Assembly Hall Wednesday afternoon for a meet and greet with fans to introduce the class of 2016. Now 14 of the 19 recruits came from Illini Nation, what Beckman calls the five hour radius around Champaign-Urbana. The group includes six players from Ohio, five from both Illinois and Florida, and one each from Indiana, Michigan, North Carolina, and Pennsylvania. It's a group Beckman is looking forward to having as a part of Illini football. I'm very excited about the type of individuals we got. Um, uh, we went out and were in search of players uh, in a short amount of time that fit exactly what we want in a Illini football player. One that uh, is going to be prompt and on time. Uh, of course, Illini time is what we talk about. Uh, one that's going to be an excellent student and an excellent example out in the community. And then one, of course, uh, it's a winner. One recruit Beckman went out of his way to praise defensive tackle Vontrell Williams. The 6'2", 275-pound Williams chose Illinois over Indiana, Kansas, and Toledo, among others, and was a key to bringing this entire recruiting class together. He was one of the first uh, young men that committed really to the previous staff, but was involved in the Toledo recruiting when I was down there. I've known Von Trell for quite some time, but we put, uh, put this uh, recruiting class kind of in Von Trell's hands. We said, hey, you want to be, a, you wanna be a, a known your senior year and known to be a champion? Uh, we need your help. And Von Trell Williams did an excellent job of reaching out and being involved in the recruiting process. Now the class of 2016 has played in over 160 high school playoff games and seven state championships. Running back Dami Ailua highlights three tailbacks for the Illini. Ailua committed to Illinois over several schools including Auburn. Defensive tackle Tico Powell, a three-star defensive tackle who was a first-team All-State selection in Florida this year. Twelve student athletes in the class posted a 3.0 GPA or above with two greater than a 4.0, including one that will be valedictorian of his high school. In total, the class averaged a 3.27 GPA. Defensive back Tavares Fuller and tight end Daniel Rhodes will enroll early and join the Illini for spring practice. And Champaign Centennial High School long snapper Michael Martin has committed to Illinois as a walk-on. And turning our attention to hoops, Illinois basketball is back in the win column following their critical victory over 10th ranked Michigan State. The Illini snapped a three game losing streak by finding a way to pull out a 42 to 41 victory over the Spartans at Assembly Hall. Operation Blueout witnessed a poor shooting night for both teams with the Illini going just 15 of 46 from the field, including three of 17 from beyond the arc and just nine of 17 at the free throw line. Even though it wasn't pretty, Bruce Weber only cares that his team got the win. Oh, it's, I don't care if it's ugly. You know, it's just, you know, I, I, when the shots go up, I'll be honest, I just sit there and say, please, God, go in. You know, and, and you know, the other thing, we don't have to go up there, so you're one up on them. Uh, Lauren Tate just told me, I think, that we had, it's our seventh top 100 win. So, we, you know, and if you, you know, you think about that, that's not bad. And... And, and again, now a second team that's a top 10 team that you've been able to beat. And in the Big Ten, number 20, Indiana on the road, taking on 22nd ranked Michigan. All Wolverines early. Tim Hardaway Jr. finds Trey Burke, who stays true to his name with the Trey. Burke with 18 on the night. Michigan out to a 10-0 lead. But in Burke, he would return the favor. Alley-oop up top to Hardaway for the slam. It looks like it's going to be all Michigan, but the Hoosiers would fight back. Jordan Hulls buries the three to cut Michigan's lead to three with just over three and a half minutes to go. But the Wolverines are able to pull away. Hardaway Jr. with the corner three. Michigan remains undefeated at home, beating Indiana 68 to 56. And in the NBA, Derrick Rose in the Eastern Conference leading Chicago Bulls in the city of brotherly love, taking on the Atlantic Division leading Sixers early on. Off the turnover, Ronnie Brewer finding the MVP for the slam. 
but it would be too much Philadelphia in this one. Here, it's the night shift. It's what they call the bench in Philly. Evan Turner finds Lavoy Allen for the slam. The Temple grad with 15 off the bench. And then Springfield Lamphere High School alum Andre Iguodala takes over in the third quarter. Iguodala with the slam there. And then off of the block upcoming here on Derrick Rose. The Sixers get out in transition. Drew Holiday finds Iguodala for the huge throwdown. He would have 19 points and nine rebounds on the night. Statement victory for the Sixers as the Bulls fall in Philadelphia, 98 to 82. And one final note, the Indiana Pacers win in Minnesota 109 to 99 to move within one and a half games of Chicago in the Central Division standings. That's it for sports. Have a great day, everybody.